I spread my weeds with this mixture and was amazed at how quickly they disappeared. Because if you also have weeds in the stone joints, then you should watch this video very closely. Here I show you an ingenious trick with an old home remedy. How you can remove these weeds really fast and easy. For the preparation we simply need a pot as well as some water. I'm going to use a liter of water here. Of course you can vary the amount that I show you here now. We also need baking soda. Of course I use the baking soda from our own store. You can find the link to the store below in the video description. I now add about 2 tablespoons of baking soda to 1 liter of water. You can also adjust the amount as I said if you need a larger amount of the weed killer. We let the whole thing come to a boil on the stove. Because when we mix water with the baking soda it breaks down into sodium and hydrogen carbonate. Hydrogen carbonate is the base and weeds are now sensitive to the basic powder. The crystalline substance settles in the pores of the plants and clogs them. We'll let it cool a bit first and then transfer it to a spray bottle so we can apply it here. Of course if you have a larger area you can use a larger sprayer to thread more of the weeds here at one time. I'm just going to show the whole thing now on a couple of smaller areas. Because as you can see here with me, I also have some weeds in my joints. Here for example something larger and I'm spraying that completely with it now. Back here in the corner I also have some small grasses that are really fine but of course they spread quickly in the joints. We now spray all of this with our mixture and then it's a matter of waiting. Because through the process just described the plant is now clogged and then dies. Especially with larger weeds you can also directly put baking soda on the plant, tilt and put some water over it or spray over it, preferably nice hot water. But make sure that no plants come into contact with it here because they could otherwise also die. After we have now waited here for 2 days the whole thing already looks like this. Especially the smaller grasses have died directly and are already brown. If you wait a few more days they are completely dead. Here you can also see directly the difference between the spot I sprayed and next to it the spots I did not spray. If it didn't work right away you have to spray it again after a few days. Even if we now wait a little longer and also spray the larger area then you can see here already clearly that many of the weeds are completely dead as a result. And I can remove them here this way really easy. Try the whole thing therefore definitely also. Would you also like to know how you can remove weeds in the garden with a fork? Then watch this video which I linked to you at this point. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.